Hello everyone. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. In this video I am going to show you two awesome fire and water particles logo and text animation intro. In both intros you will be able to edit your text. Along with the text, you can also add your logo. You will get both intros for free. So to save you precious time, let's go to the video. The first intro that I'm going to reveal is something like this fire particles logo and text animation intro. To make this intro, I have a logo of my channel in the media. Also I have an intro video in the media. The free download link of this intro video is in the description. You can download it absolutely free. I drag and drop the intro video onto the timeline. At the start of the video there is a particles clip of about a second or two. You have to split it. And move this clip to the end of the intro in the same track. And I finish the gap at the start of the intro. Let me show you a preview of this intro video. First we will add the text in the intro. For this, move the playhead slightly forward. Where fire particles are seen in the intro video. And then go to quick text tool. And click on quick text. So we'll have text added to the timeline with the playhead. Now we will edit this text. So for that, double click on the text. Write your intro name here. Set the text size from here. For text font I select Carter 1. Now we add some animations to this text. So for that, go to the video tab above and click on it. Here, inside the basics section, the transform tab is unfolded. From here we add the first keyframe to the start of the text. And from here I move the text position to center. Rotate text according to intro particles. And increase the text size and adjust its position along the center. Next, move the playhead forward, where the particles reach the end. And here we add another keyframe. In this keyframe I reset the scale, position, and rotation. I think the text position is fine here. So our text will animate something like this. Now we will reveal the logo. So for that, place the playhead where the text animation ends. After placing the playhead here, drag your logo onto the timeline. The logo should be placed in the top track with the playhead. Reduce the size of the logo using the scale in the transform tab. Now drag and drop this clip of intro particles into the track above the logo. This is the clip we split from the intro clip below. This particle looks something like this. Double click on this particle video. Go to the basic section of the video tab. Scroll down. Keep the composting tab unfolded. Here select the screen option inside the blend mode box. So you can see that we have particles that have become transparent. Now we have to animate the logo. So for that, double click on the logo. Go to the basic section within the image tab. Here, keep the transform tab unfolded. Add a keyframe to the start of the logo image from here. And set the scale of the logo in this keyframe to zero. And then move the playhead forward. Where the above particle ends. And add another keyframe here. And increase the size of your logo in this keyframe as per your choice. You can adjust the duration of the logo animation by moving it back and forth using keyframes. Extend the duration of the text to the end of the intro.
So with that we revealed this Fire Particles logo and text animation intro. The second intro I'm going to make is to reveal the logo in the water like this. So for this, I have an intro video and a logo of my channel in the media. The free download link of this intro video is in the description. You can download it for free. You can see the preview of this intro video. After dragging the intro video, drag and drop your logo onto the timeline as well. Place the logo in the second track of the timeline and increase the logo duration according to the intro video. Now we will apply a mask over this logo. So for that, double click on the logo. Within the image tab, go to the mask section and click on it. Select circle mask from here. Scroll down to mask settings. Invert the mask from here. and apply blur strength above the mask. I keep the blur strength around 26. And enlarge the mask shape. And then I take the position of the mask down and make it disappear from the screen. Now we animate this mask with the water of the intro. So for this we will move the mask through the keyframe. Place the playhead at the start of the logo. And add a circle mask keyframe here. To add another keyframe, move the playhead forward. And place the playhead where the water wave has gone up. And add another keyframe here. And move the position of the mask up in that keyframe. The mask has to be set according to the tide of the water. Now we add the next keyframe animation to the mask. And in this keyframe I take the mask back down with the water wave. Now add opacity animation to the start of the logo. For this, move the playhead to the start of the logo. Within the image tab, go to the basic section and click on it. Scroll down below. In the compositing tab, add an opacity keyframe to the start of the logo. And set the opacity of the logo in this keyframe to 0%. Then move the playhead a little further. Add another keyframe here. Reset the opacity level in this keyframe. After doing this, I now animate the logo. So for that, move the playhead forward. Where in the intro video the wave of water has gone up. Click on the keyframe button with transform and add an empty keyframe here. For the next keyframe, move the playhead forward another second or two. And add the next keyframe here. Scale the size of the logo in this keyframe. Next, I add the text. Place the playhead at the end of the logo animation. Go to Quick Text Tool and click on Quick Text option here. So we'll have text added to the timeline. To edit the text, double-click the text. Write your logo name here. I select Futura MD BT Bold as the text font. On text I want to apply animation. For this, go to the animation section above and click on it. Here you will find many text animations. You can choose any animation for your intro text. 
Here I double click on the typewriter animation and apply it to the text. I want the text position to animate as well. So for that, go to the video tab and click on it. I increase the duration of the text by slightly dragging it towards the start. And here I add an empty keyframe inside the transform tab at the start of the text. To add a second keyframe, I move the playhead forward about a second. And here I add another keyframe. In this keyframe I just move the text position up a bit by Postion Y. So this will make our text a little closer to the logo. And will also help to keep its distance normal and animate. Hope you like these two intros a lot. Please like the video. It is very good for you to subscribe this channel. Because that's the only way you'll get great videos from this channel. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.